problem with getting drunk, though. The last thing you remember doing, that's not the last thing you did. <laughs> There's a three-hour Scooby-Doo mystery you got to figure out. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I was at the bar, had a couple shots, took some pictures, walked outside, and now I'm home with my pants missing and a cheeseburger on my chest. <laughs> How did I get here? Yeah, Sarah and I are uh, riding in that mystery van Speak sometimes. Speak for yourself, Jeep. <laughs> That's comedian Avi Sanchez, born and raised right here in Chicago. He has become a figure in the Chicago comedy scene with his quick thinking and storytelling. And tonight he's hitting the stage once again at Zany's, but first he joins us here on Spotlight with more. Avi, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So you're a Chicago guy. How'd you get started in stand-up? Um, I gave a best man speech, and <laughs> I, it was like 150 people, and I made them all laugh. And I was like, you know what? I kind of like doing that. So I found a workshop that was uh, a comedian was teaching workshops. I, I took a couple classes and then started hitting the mics and getting on the stage, yeah. But Abby, what did your friends and family think when you were like, okay, guys, I'm going to pursue comedy? They I'm were very supportive. They're like, <laughs> oh, thank really? you. Like, that. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> yeah, because okay. they were very tired of telling me that I was funny and like, just get on stage and try it. So when I did it, they were very supportive of me. So, oh, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. All right, so I hear you're into reality TV. I do. I'm a big Love is Blind guy now. Really? You too? You, yes. I want, you guys could chat all day. Yeah, you I get a cheat, girlfriend. Though. Yeah. I cheat. I fast forward through the whole thing. Do we, oh, you yeah. can see how they ended up? No. <laughs> I, I give up a little sometimes. Like, yeah. it's a boring cup. I want the drama. Yeah, so yeah. Then, like, exactly. And then, like, oh, I hope they leave them at the altar. You know, like, I, yeah. <laughs> I hope for all the bad stuff that happened. Like, Give me the mess. Yeah. So, wait, how did you get into it? Uh, my girlfriend. She's yeah. like, well, let's watch this. I'm like, I don't want to watch that. And next thing you know, I'm on, like, <laughs> I mean, I'm skipping like episodes without it. I'm like, no, you don't get a lot of Do you get a lot of good material from stuff you watch, or is it from your everyday life? Like, where do you get your inspiration from? It's mostly just everyday life. Just I'm more of like an observationalist. So like, I see things, and then mm -hmm. like, if it frustrates me, it's got to frustrate somebody else. So I get, I kind of vent on stage as far as like, <laughs> not a rant so much. It's more of like. Oh. Certain things that you know, like living with a woman and you find hair on your body, like oh, little things yeah. like that. Like yeah. hair everywhere. <laughs> yeah. I'll rant about that, and I'm a woman. I too, I'm like, is that mine? Where's all that coming from? Yeah, and where you're pulling it out from, you're like, wait, yeah. how did I get there? You know, like, <laughs> Sometimes it's like your belt, right? right? It's like, how did I get there? Yeah. <laughs> what is happening? Okay, so it's spring. We just did a whole bit on it being spring now in Chicago. Mm -hmm. What are you doing for the spring? Uh, just shows, and then finally I start golfing again. That's the only thing oh, I look forward to. Oh, you're a golfer. Yeah, I used to play basketball, and then like my knee started hurting, and then I made a resolution that I was gonna start playing basketball again, uh -huh. and then I ran at full speed. And I was like, I'm just gonna golf. Like it's like <laughs> <laughs> it's more walking, it's a little driving and stuff. So it's, it's this fun. is what we need to try. Oh, what golfing? golfing? Golfing. This is like I feel like it's right our uh, speed. Yeah. I don't know. You can drink and drive in a cart and stuff. Well, that fun. part I'd be into. The snacks. Yeah. I, I love snacks. Yeah. Scooby snacks. You were talking yeah. about, you know, the and Scooby. There's a, Mysteries. Usually a cart that comes around yeah. and they offer you drinks. Like, all right, let's go. Well, speaking so. of snacks, I hear that you get asked a lot by visiting comedians, like where they want it, where they should go eat, right? Yeah, I get a lot of comics because they hear about Chicago food and like, oh, it's the best places to go. And it's like, do I recommend all the places that I love, uh -huh. or do I just give them like the third best option so that it doesn't get too busy? <laughs> and then like, I can <laughs> still go. That's what you gotta do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. we're gonna let you give a couple of shout outs Ooh, okay. for your favorite places, so that way they can make sure to give you all free food from yeah. here on Ooh, out. Please do. Okay. <laughs> okay. Where are we sending the comedians that are coming uh, out of town? It depends. So, like, if you want Puerto Rican food, yeah. there's a place in Chicago called Hibaritos in Harlem. Mm -hmm. It's probably my favorite, like, Ooh. Puerto Rican spot next to my mom's house, but Ooh. Her, <laughs> serv <laughs> her service is terrible. We're Coming so, to your mom's later. <laughs> no, the service is terrible. You don't want to do that. <laughs> and then um, for like Chinese food, I usually go down to Chinatown, an Evergreen restaurant. Yeah. It's a very old school. I like, can't believe it's still open. When you I, said it, I was like, is Evergreen still it's open? It's still there. It, I don't think they changed the decor at all. <laughs> I think the first person that ever opened You don't go for the decor. It, no. no, but it's, it's great uh, Chinese food. And then Mediterranean, it's a restaurant I like. It's called Cedar Palace. Okay, I've never been to Cedar I, Palace. I don't know the neighborhood. I think it's Lincoln Park. Okay. But it's a, it's a very small family-owned restaurant. Very good. I'm mad that I'm telling people about it because <laughs> yeah. they don't take reservations. So it's like, <laughs> uh, I'm going to That's how I table. felt when I told people about Lower Wacker Drive, how to get around. Oh. Have you ever driven Lower Wacker? I, it's the secret to Chicago. <laughs> yeah, I, I've learned it. <laughs> yeah. But it's very, it took me about 40 years <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, wow. to finally just and get over it. And once you learn it, you're like, don't tell anybody else. Yeah. Well, I mean, people knew about it, but they were scared to go down there, and you taught them how to navigate yeah. it. That yeah. was the thing. That's what you did. Even the GPS gives up on you. It They're does, like, you know, really, yeah. <laughs> the GPS has no faith yeah. in you down there. They're like, like oh, you're on 
on your own. Okay, we'll so we'll see you when you get above ground. Yeah. Zanies tonight, right? Zanies tonight, uh, North Avenue and Wells. Yeah, all awesome. new, all new material. I yeah. heard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. All right, Aki's going to be hitting the stage tonight at seven, as he said, for tickets.